Hello, welcome to Art Show. I'm Craig Stover, and today I have with me Jorge Carigiuri. Hey, well, right. how are you? Good, how are you today? I'm good, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm excited to share some of your work with our audience. Uh, and so I went online and I selected some pieces of yours that I really found fascinating. And I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about some of these pieces. Now this this piece in particular, um, well, I, I I know what's going on, but could you could you explain what your your process for this? Okay, I I will try. And normally, I I it's not easy for me to explain uh, about my artwork, but yeah. um, so this is a a painting made in encaustic mm -hmm. medium. Um, I don't know if you. Well, I can explain a little bit of encaustic. Encaustic mm -hmm. basically is big wax with uh, pigment. And, uh, normally I don't do my my uh, encaustic medium, so I buy it, but normally encaustic medium is big wax with the mar mm -hmm. and the pigment. Um, so wh where do these lines come from? Is it is it a random selection or is it... Um, well, it's a long process. Normally, my my artwork, you know, I'm working in encaustic and I'm working in fresco, and both are very ancient techniques. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's the involved. So about encaustic, uh, the the way to do it, you know, you heat the wax. You have several different colors already in different containers. So. Um, my vocabulary is very minimal, so normally you will see encaustic or frescoes. Mostly, I'm working in the same with the same vocabulary. Mm -hmm. um, I love strips. I think it's the the really easy mm -hmm. thing uh, for the viewer. They will understand what I'm doing. It's it's not a preconcept. It's just uh, my work is about repetition. Mm -hmm. strips, um, if, patterns. If this is this is part of a series. There's several of these. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. And normally I'm working in series. The series uh, is uh, redefined through faces. Mm -hmm. I have many, many artwork. Uh, I started the series maybe in 2012. Mm -hmm. and, but before I was working with the strips before in, in fresco. So I, I, th this was actually the first piece of yours that I saw. And this... You know, I, it, I I was really uh, uh, interested to learn more about this. But what really got me was when I started to look at other works of yours, and it really made it a, a much more fuller experience. This piece, okay. I think, was just fantastic. Well, thank uh, you. And so, this what's the size of this piece? This is this this is uh, twenty four by twenty four. Okay, so it's very ma manageable. Uh, yeah, I have this. Normally, I'm work large but this is uh, it's, it's a small piece uh well this is a fresco it's no encaustic uh -huh. um uh, you know i have a background in architecture so mm -hmm. you will find always in my artwork whatever it is in every service i'm doing uh, you know you will see the the vibe of the architectural themes and yeah. lines a structure uh, uh, grids uh, and enjoy with that uh, where, so in, where do these shapes come from are they invented on the spot uh, in reference you know fresco uh, a second to, to explain you what is fresco fresco is uh, basically plaster you have to make the plaster mm -hmm. uh, basically the plaster is uh, lime water and sand so uh, the fresco, the more uh, popular is the, the fresco that you have to paint when the, the plaster is wet. And you have another kind of fresco. So in the 90s, I went to Milan and I spent a month there to uh, study what Michelangelo did. And after mm -hmm. I, I learned it, I, I am not really interested in figurative things. So um, I went in my way to figure out how to, to make the frescoes in a contemporary way. Mm -hmm. So for that, I say again, where's the triangles coming? Uh, well, normally I'm using basic so circles, triangles, 
rectangles always will be in my paintings. Uh, in grids, in, in patterns, uh, yeah. always that I will have this in my paintings. And uh, I think uh, this coming from my architectural background, you know, mm. it's, uh, I can go far away. Uh, that may, it makes sense to me, but I think there was, there's something else going on <laughs> from just your interest in architecture. Uh, yeah. For me, when I see like this particular piece, I see all of those layers that you're putting on one yeah, yeah it's, it's a pro long process long process yeah. so you start uh, and also you have to mask in them my work i can say is about the process not the finished mm -hmm. painting uh, mm -hmm. i really enjoy and i i suffer sometimes uh, uh, because you know you sometimes you have to wait a long time mm -hmm. and, and figure out where you will go but uh, yeah, it's I work in layers, and it's a long, long process. So, yeah. but I enjoy that. This is the the way to to work for me. So these, a lot of these, the scale of these are very immense. large, uh, right? Yeah. Well, this is particularly. Is, I think it was. It's not really big. It's, I think it's forty by twenty four or thirty three. Okay. I don't remember right now. But um, I have a couple of shows in the big spaces. So I have paintings both in encaustic or a fresco, mm -hmm. very, very large painting, seven, uh, six, seven feet tall. You know, that was going to so, be my next question. You know, do you work much larger? Because I would love to see these in person. Nice well, I really love to work larger. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, if you see, uh, you look at my work, you will see it's very simple. Mm -hmm. it's, the process is a little complicated. Mm -hmm. But the result is very simple. It's, mm -hmm. it's uh, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Mm -hmm. uh, and also I am between the logic as an agent. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, uh, the logic thing is the grid, is the pattern. And mm -hmm. uh, the imagination, I leave the texture of the materials work for themselves. So speaking uh, of, of texture of materials, mm -hmm. I came across this piece. This is an encaustic, correct? Yes, this is encaustic. So I, I'm I'm fascinated with the idea that you have both texture but pattern as well, that yeah. you're really taking advantage of that. Uh, on yeah, it, I like that, you know, because maybe you will see many paintings or many artists working uh, with patterns and circles or geometrical things. But I don't like flat things. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I like I don't like perfection. <laughs> right. I don't like perfection. This is very rich, and I, you know, it. For me, looking at this, the longer I look at it, actually, the longer I look at it, the more color I see. You know, the those different shades. Well, of blue. you're right because encaustic is very transparent. Mm -hmm. So when you work in very many many layers, you know, and mm -hmm. you fuse the layers and create new colors, but when the light reflects in the painting, create another color. It's a, yeah. it's, this is another part of my work, yeah. the viewer, the viewer, but, the point of view. I, uh, love, like, I love that. Like a sculpture, you know, yeah. when you, you, the sculpture you have three dimension, you have go around, well, this is flat, it's, it's in, the, in the wall, but you can see, if you can see, sometimes I have pictures, a, a little enough in front the, the paint mm -hmm. and you can see the, the painting changed totally and uh, i love that this is this is my my way i don't know yeah, no i love it because I, sometimes i come across artists and i i pretty much get it from the visual you know right for through the screen but i think yours is the kind of work that actually needs to be seen in person to really absorb how the yeah. light goes i think so images. um Sometimes um, I have that problem for myself, you know, because sometimes I'm taking pictures. I say, wow, this is another painting I did. Right. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, but it's really tough, you know. Uh, you know, light, light for me is really, really uh, special yeah. in the paintings, you know. Um, I, and for me, it's not easy to, to get the photography right. Yeah. So sometimes mm -hmm. you're right, and right things happen. So, well, I'm also really interested in in your uh, 
the natural geometry that you play with all the time. I wouldn't be surprised if there's secret geometry involved in some of this. Um, it's really, it's it's quite stunning. And now I have to come and see your next exhibit because I really want to see these in person. So, well, yeah. So I, I'd love to start the conversation uh, where I often do is I'd like to learn a little bit about your beginnings. And in yeah, particular, okay. let's go way back. Do you remember when you were young, your first exposure to art? Was there anything that like a moment yeah. where you had? All right, tell me. I got for, for sure, for sure. Uh, it's clear in my in my head. Um, I was around nine, ten. So I remember always I was interested in drawing and um, that kind of things, manual things. I, I think I I tortured my my friend from the blog, uh, <laughs> making puppet things, uh, uh, many things. So I remember in some point I discovered was a art teacher across the my parents' house mm -hmm. uh, for kids, you know. And I asked my mother and uh, if I can go. My mother said yes. So I started to go to 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 learn a little drawings, I was drawing animals, whatever. Um, and after that, for sure, uh, I start to make like comics with tales or, or mm -hmm. histories. And um, and I remember my my friends. They say, "Well, well I, we want to do something. So so we want to see something." And I was drawing histories of princes and castles, and, mm -hmm. and that. Always I was involved with that. And after that, after the elementary school, I went to the high school and I have a problem because I want to go to the art school. But you know, in the seventies wasn't very, of course not here in Argentina, was it's not easy to, to that your parents understand. So they, oh no, you have to, to, to learn something that for the future, blah, 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 right. blah, blah. So I tried to, to find the way to do both things. So I I, just, I went to the art school uh, in Rosario, when in my hometown, and I started two, two different high schools. The, the, the high school my parents want and the art school. But, you know, it wasn't very easy to do it. So I give up the art school in some point. I think I was there a couple of months. Mm -hmm. I give up. And after that, after high school, I moved to Buenos Aires. To, and I went to the 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 art school in in Buenos Aires, and I was there for a year. Um, you know, sometimes what happened to me, I start to be boring for things. So uh, I don't like a lot of rules. Mm -hmm. So I give up. I give mm -hmm. up, and I went to the architectural university, and right. I I I finished there. But you know, every finished together you right. know art architecture you will see art in architecture and architecture in art yeah. so mm -hmm. uh, uh i think uh, that was that about your question yes all my life all mm -hmm. my life uh, um, i worked in the fashion industry for many many years mm -hmm. designing stores and not clothes but store packages and you know art is right there Mm -hmm. And my side of the, the art, Argentina was a little in the side, uh, you know, because I was working a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, I did some exhibition, but wasn't, I started really, really here when I mm -hmm. moved here. At, at what point did you, I, I understand you were making art the whole time, I assume, in, in one form or another. But at what point did you say, no, I really want to pursue well, when I moved here, when I moved okay. here, um, I moved here, I was working uh, in New York, not here. I was living in New York uh, with Ralph Lauren. Um, mm -hmm. So in some point, I was wanting to do the same thing, you know. Okay. Um, I give up and I just start to paint. And, you know, I start with my friend. Mm -hmm. with that before in Argentina, I did the same. And in some point, I... I saw, I needed, I mm -hmm. needed and become a, the full-time artist, mm -hmm. uh, uh, making a, a, a living. 
with yeah. that. So, so I, I I get cur I'm curious seeing your work. I mean, I I have when I talk to artists, I have different questions for different artists, obviously. So one of the questions I'm curious with your work. <laughs> I'm a yes. huge fan of encaustics and uh, alternative materials, those kinds of things. Did you learn these methods of using encaustics and other materials? Was that back in art school or or was that no. late? So who, no, who taught no. you how to use these processes? Uh, well, you know, uh, when I came or here... Or were you self-taught? I went to the, the the art school. I I told you before in the high school. I yeah. started was was one year, a little more than one year. But you know, it's the basic um, about techniques. Mm -hmm. for, but I love experiment. Mm -hmm. I love okay, all right experiment. So, but and I love um, to break to break rules. Mm -hmm. But I uh, I learn that if you want to break rules, you have to know the rules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If not, you will not go anywhere. Right. So, exactly. I, so I learned it. So what I say, I went, I was curious, uh, you know, about Fresco. I learned it. I went to Milan. I learned it. I said, I don't like it to make angels uh -huh. in the skies and landscape. This is not my way. <clears throat> but I have the, I have it, the, the knowledge to do uh -huh. it, you know, I know what is fresh or what is, is the rich or what is the antinaco, what is the part, how you do it, but in another way. And I start to break rules. Yeah. So let, let's know? talk a little bit about your process because it does seem, yeah. you know, very, very prominent in your work. Yeah, First yeah. off, do you keep a sketchbook? No, I never will do that. Yeah, but no. it doesn't work for you. No. It's so when you, when you yeah, approach a new work of art, does it come about through soul experimentation or do you ever have an idea of what you want in your head? It's in my mind. Um, okay. I say again, when you work with Fresco or, or Encouted, you have to follow steps, mm -hmm. you know? So... Uh, I can say when I'm going to my studio, I go in the way in Uber or whatever. I'm going, okay, I have to do this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. But of course, you have to have one in the painting. Mm -hmm. So, but you are depending on the process. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you say a sketch, well, I know my work is mostly geometric. So I say, okay, I had to do a painting, I don't know, four by four. So I know a space for me is very important, very mm -hmm. important. So I know where I will, how to create the space, how to create the three dimension. So it's a process, but it's not a preconcept. You know, so, I don't like to work about concept because it's no concept in my work. I will lie. I, will lie. I want that you found in my paintings, whatever you want see so the, uh, the idea is in your head when you're approaching a work is it exact mm -hmm. what you make in your head or is there, it does it always does it shift and change as you're as oh you're... no no well i say again you have to follow the process and sometimes in between the process you <laughs> will find things that you don't like or you right. like it but, oh that is great i'm following this way yeah. you know uh, 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 i say again for me the process the time i with the painting right it's the it's the control i have and it's the power i have after the the painting is finished i want to sell it <laughs> <laughs> that's it it's done uh -huh. it, it's not important for me so it, it, is, the process is mine i don't like what some people ask me oh can i see can i no no <laughs> sacred. it's so, sacred do you ever get to a point where a, a picture fails and you either have to destroy it or completely alter it? Have you ever worked back into work? I destroy it. Um, sometimes I say, oh, I don't go anywhere. So I leave it. Okay. I leave it. Normally I work not in one painting. I work in many paintings because the process asks me for that. 
you know, I okay. had to do something here, I had to leave it because I had to dry, I had to something, and I'm going to another, and most of the process is the same. So, you know, you, uh, but no, destroy, no. And also my, in my paintings, the most important thing too is the decay, is the time, is the past, mm -hmm. uh, the time past. So mm -hmm. always I will find the way Painting. Never I destroy anything. Mm -hmm. Some artists do, and some some keep everything. So you've been making work for years now. Have you noticed uh, a change in your work? Have you noticed that you feel that your work is changed? And if so, how do you feel it's changed? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, you know, when you work with geometric patterns, um, a, a structure, whatever. Um, you masking tape a lot, hmm. you know. Um, sometimes I have a problem. I am very critical of my work. I say, hmm. oh, it's too rigid. Hmm. It's too, you know, so... You're not breaking I, enough rules? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes. So I say, I had to go a little more freedom. Hmm. I had to go, you know, and I am in the process. I can see in the last years, uh, I, I'm more, I'm more a little more or visually organic. Mm. You know, um, I am still in the structure, but uh, if you will, if you check my work now in Flexo, for example, in Noy and in Kauftis, in Kauftis, the only thing I'm doing in Kauftis is the street. You will see for 15 years, Mm -hmm. No change. Mm -hmm. But in fresco, oh, I try, I try, I try um go a little more organic. Mm -hmm. Um so you know I'm, I'm, my my vision of, of the geometric of so Malevich or Klee mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, or is in my mind. Mm -hmm. I don't want this. I want to destroy that structure. Mm -hmm. I want to go somewhere else. And I discovered that the nature could be in my paintings too. Mm -hmm. So you will see this in my last word. You will see a lot of this. Yeah. So uh, I've got time for two more questions. Okay. One, I'm, I'm dying to ask you this question uh, because when I look at your work, we talked a little bit about color, like that blue piece, how many different <laughs> shades of color there are. You're not an artist that uses color straight out of the tube, right? So you can definitely, you're always changing those colors. Can you tell me- I like mute colors. I like no, mute colors. You mute them, yes. I, and I like that. It's really subtle and it's one, and they blend together. Can you tell me, what do you think about color? Okay. That's a big question, I know, but is it a friend of yours or? Uh, color is, you, you can see it's, it's important in my in my work, but well, color is light. So uh, I, I was talking before about color, about the space, about lighting. I, I, so it's important, but uh, the color for me, I don't know. It depends how relation have to another color in the painting. Mm -hmm. They change everything. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they You're change aware of the, that. Yeah. I learned it. I learned it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, oh, no, no. I know that. Oh, no, I don't want this. I don't, right. You know, I, I don't like bright things. I, yeah. I like, like more subtle, uh, more for yeah. inside. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah. But it's important. But one time I remember in the show, Oh, I love your colors. How you do? I, well, you are a great colorist. I say yeah. colorist. <laughs> I don't think so. I right. don't think so. I yeah. am colorist, and and I I don't think it. You know, it's a process game. Yeah, game me. I can see that so, the experimentation of of color. Yeah, so, yeah. time for one last question. A question I ask a lot of artists. Real simple. What does making art do for you? Um, well, maybe sound a little arrogant, but maybe give me control. Yeah. And 
power. Yeah. I say before this, is the, uh, you know, um, always I was thinking about me in in United States. I am an outsider. And uh, sometimes it's tough, mm -hmm. you know, when you go to another culture, I try to introduce who you are. Mm -hmm. And so for that, I say to pain, give me that the security and the power and the control oh you know the respect i can say too that's great well jorge i really want to thank you for talking with me today no. I, I thank you again for inviting me i love your work i can't wait to see it in person well, I'm, also... I'm working in something for june uh, okay fantastic in, in liquid in liquid so uh okay. i will let you know Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I also want to thank everybody who tuned in to watch today. Uh, we love to have your support. Of course, we love it when you like and subscribe right from the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. If I can't answer them myself, I will pass them along. So again, Jorge, thank you so much for coming by and talking with me today. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care, everyone. See you. Bye-bye.